Beyond the Rocky Worlds is more exploration and way more to discover than you think. These other four planets are huge, massive, and gassy because, as you can tell, these gassy planets are way more than just planets. And they have way more lore and way more moons than you think. The king of all planets, the one and only fifth planet from the sun, Jupiter. Jupiter is a gassy planet and it has way more things for you to discover and Jupiter has to be one of those planets that has to be one of those crazy other things ever out there and the thing is Jupiter is a gas giant no matter how big or small your discovery is it has to be your biggest discovery or your smallest discovery no matter the size of planet you are looking for it is yours so for this planet is a planet full of gases and other things etc because as you can tell Jupiter has hydrogen and helium because what stars have is hydrogen and helium. Without hydrogen and stars, those stars would just expand because what if Jupiter was born without hydrogen? Because Jupiter could just expand if it only had hel helium and stuff and another thing about this planet is something way more sinister than you think a storm that has been raging for centuries a storm so so powerful that it could destroy the earth a storm the size of anything and a storm that it is said to be powerful a storm that is too powerful and also a storm that is also unstoppable and the thing is Jupiter is a planet full of mysteries that we will never know and some we do know and here are some pictures of Jupiter for you to take a look at because uh, look back in the year of 1900s or the 1700s the first ever spacecraft to take close-up pictures of Jupiter is the Pioneer spacecraft and it took a few pictures up close and some far away and it turns out Jupiter is still raging. Jupiter is still a planet full of other mysteries that we never knew about or even may know. So, the thing is, Jupiter is a planet full of other mysteries. How big is Jupiter's great red spot? Jupiter's great red spot is 10 point. So, great red spot, a long-lived enormous storm system of the planet Jupiter, and the most conspicuous feature of its invisible cloud surface. It is generally reddish in color, slightly oval in shape, and approximately 16,350 kilometers, 10,059 miles wide large enough to engulf Earth. So if Jupiter if so if Jupiter's great red spot is closer to Earth, Earth could fit. Earth can Earth can fit in the great red spot 
And even if we're gonna take one Earth, what about we take a step a little further? What if we take three Earths? What if we take three Earths and put them in the great red spot? That is the size of Jupiter's great red spot. Because Jupiter's great red spot is sinister. It's like menacing. It's like how you look at it. And the great red spot has been raging for centuries. And all it has been doing is just raging. The winds are really, really powerful. So powerful. If those winds were here on Earth, those winds could damage Earth. Like, it could damage Earth. Like, so crazy. How fast is Jupiter's wind? How fast is Jupiter's wind? Approximately 900 miles per hour. According to Forbes, although Jupiter's spots are hurricane-like, the fastest winds are at the poles, approaching approximately 900 miles per hour. That is way more than on Earth, and if that storm was here on Earth, the Earth will be destroyed. How, how fast is the Earth storm? The, the storm on Earth is only 16, six, is only 1,600 kilometers, 1,000 miles per hour. So that means the Earth rotates at 1,037 miles per hour, which we have the Earth atmosphere rotates with it, so we don't view the Earth spin. The Earth also moves through space at 1.3 mile, million miles per hour. But Jupiter's is way more fast. If those winds were here on Earth, it would damage the whole entire Earth. But let me ask you this. The biggest question of them all, the biggest mysterious question we do not know about Jupiter is, is there a cloud city on Jupiter? Are there really aliens in the cloud city of Jupiter? Will there ever be life on Jupiter? Well, the thing is, it could be possible for a cloud city to exist on Jupiter. Is there a cloud city on Jupiter? So basically, what cloud cities are is that they are they float in the sky. So gravity on Earth is about g equals 9.8 miles slash second to the S to the second, we want this gravity on our cloud city on Jupiter, so we live currently. The formula for gravity is G equals GM slash R to the second, where G is a gravitation constant whose val value is 6.673 times 10 to the negative 11th miles is the mass of Jupiter, 1,000, 8986 times 10 to the 27th kilograms, and R is the distance from the center of Jupiter, center of Jupiter, where the city will be. We are ordering all the variables we get. R equals SQRT, GM slash G equals 113, 643 kilometers. Jupiter's radius is 69, 911 kilometers, 911 kilometers. Our city is well outside the planet in its atmosphere. The answer is no, there is no point on Jupiter on, or Jupiter's atmosphere the gravity is suitable for humans. So, it is very unlikely that a cloud city is there on Jupiter. But if there would be, we would have to downtone the gravity a little bit. And in the center of Jupiter, if you go even further, more than the clouds, you see storms raging. And below that, it's more clouds, more clouds, and even more clouds. And even probes have to have tried going down there, but they've been crushed by the pressure because Jupiter is massive and its pressure is so great and so intense that it can crush the probes. Down in the center, we do know that there's oceans of liquid, liquid 
we do know that there's the liquid hydrogen, liquid metallic hydrogen is another type of hydrogen, but there's a lightning, and it could instantly kill you if you step in it. But probes have been down further than that, and probes seemingly vaporize. But one day, we can actually build a probe to where it can withstand the pressure, go down and take pictures of the center of Jupiter's core. And there are also moons of Jupiter to where... So we have Io, the volcanically active moon ever closest to Jupiter. And Europa has life on it, oceans, and even possibly a alien squid living in the oceans and life. And Ganymede is bigger than the planet Mercury. And Callisto is heavily bombarded with craters and stuff. And the closest moon in Jupiter is Osmesia, which is a is a asteroid. You can see Jupiter on the eastern horizon. And Jupiter is another brightest planet, which as you can tell and uh, Jupiter is covered in swirling cloud stripes as big storms like the Great Red Spot, which has been going for hundreds of years, as you can tell. And I will see you all later. Peace out.